welcome back to our channel before we dive into today's tutorial i want to make sure everyone is on the same page so i hope you've already set up docker and wsl if it's not the case don't worry please check out our youtube channel and my previous tutorials where i've covered all these steps in details i will put you the link of the video in the description all right now that we are all set let's jump into an exciting and highly requested tutorial we're going to set up tensorflow gpu and streamlit using anaconda and then we will dockerize it as docker image with docker using wsl so whether you are a data scientist ai enthusiast or just love tinkering with cutting edge technology this guide is cherished for you okay so let's start by setting up tensorflow gpu and streamlet with anaconda first so the first thing you need to do is to ensure you have already nvidia driver installed if it's not the case go look for it by typing nvidia driver then Choose your graphical card and download the driver and install it. Next thing you need to do is to look for Anaconda. So type Anaconda Linux and go here. Copy the link in order to download Anaconda. Then open your VS Code using WSL and pass the link. So, I've already done it, so it's already there. So, the next step is just to launch a bash to install Anaconda for Linux and follow the steps. You type yes, please enter to confirm the location. All right. Okay, so it's, it's gonna be installed. So for that, uh, it's gonna take some time. I will speed up the video and see you later. All right, so it's done. Now we will create our new environment using TensorFlow GPU and Streamlit. So for that, I created already a bash script that you can use, I will put the link to this file in the description so here i'm gonna create new environment using python 3.10 and then activate this environment called tfgpu conda and then i will put all necessary libraries so you can find tensorflow and cuda you can add any libraries that you need in our case we're gonna add streamlit but i've already also add xgboost scikit-learn for in order to create a data science environment Okay, and next step is to go to look for this file. So it's located here, as you can see. And I will launch a bash for this script to create my environment. It's gonna take some time. I will see you later. Okay, it's done so the Python command here is just to check if we get access to our GPUs as you can see it's working but we can check this further we're gonna activate our environment and launch a Jupyter lab so we look for conda env list and we activate our environment we launch a Jupyter lab as you can see I have already some script here that I'm gonna test to see if it got access to our GPUs using TensorFlow so for that just copy paste the link to the Jupyter lab 
So here I'm going to test my Jupyter Notebook. And as you can see, I will import my TensorFlow as TF and look for least logical device and physical device. And you can see that it gets access to my NVIDIA GPUs. And you can see NVIDIA RTX A6000. Great, it's working. So we have already set up a Conda environment using the, uh, the TensorFlow GPUs and Streamlit. Now that we have our environment set up, let's talk a little bit about Docker. So Docker is just an open source platform that's gonna allow you to create, run, and build any application as a lightweight, portable, self-sufficient container that will run virtually anywhere. So one great thing about Docker is it can be run on many different platforms like Linux, Windows, macOS, or even WSL, which I'm gonna be used for this course. This means that you can create and develop your own application on your own local machine and then deploy it on a production environment that's gonna use another operating systems. This is great because it's gonna allow you to avoid the very known problems works on my machine. So here are some of the most important commands for Docker. So you're gonna find some commands related to the images. The images are the environment that you're gonna create and that's gonna include all the packages in order to run any application. In our case, we wanna build an environment using TensorFlow GPUs and Streamlit. So for that, we're gonna use a Docker file that you're gonna see and we're gonna use this command, docker build and the name of the image. Then you're gonna have some other commands, interesting commands related to Docker images to list all the images available images to delete an image and you can see also you have some commands related to the docker hub docker hub is the is a service where you're gonna share and find all your saved images and for that you need to follow these steps and finally you're gonna have some commands related to containers the containers are the instance that's gonna run using the images that you have created and for that you're gonna use docker run and you're gonna add some other parameters, the minus p for publish to publish some ports between your host machine and your container. You're gonna use also minus v in order to mount some volume and to create a bridge between your local machine and the container. Okay, you're gonna see this right now. So for that, you're gonna stop this. And we're gonna go look for this folder, docker image. So as you can see, we have our docker file. So for that, just to give you an idea about this docker file, it looks like this. So I'm going to use already an image using a TensorFlow GPUs. And then I will add my Python packages. In my case, I want to add my, a new version of a TensorFlow. And I will create my own environment. Here you can use whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to use a data science environment. And then I will expose 8888 for JupyterLab at 8501 for streamlet and i will launch this command all right so in order to create these images i'm going to use this command docker build minus t and i will call my images tf gpu docker and i'm going to use these files so i need to run it from the folder containing these files docker file in my case i've already done it this is why it's quick but for your in your case it's going to take some time so in order to check if it's done, you can check docker images in order to look for the image and you can see that's already here. All right, now that you are all set, we can check that the environment is working just by running this command, which is docker run. You, uh, you put minus minus GPUs to make the GPUs available 
Then you publish the ports 10,080 501 for Streamlit. And you can add the minus V in order to get access to, to your Python scripts, for example, to create a bridge between your working directory and this file, which is called my code here. And you're gonna use our TFGPO Docker. And we're gonna launch this. Okay, we take this link. We go here and we're gonna change these by 10,000 and these by localhost. Okay, we have access to our Jupyter Lab using Docker this time, not Conda environment. We're gonna look for our code. For example, here we're gonna go to Jupyter Python scripts. And the test one, we're gonna check the same thing. If our TensorFlow is imported, look at for the access to GPUs. We have the, the access, and here you can run wherever you want, like create TensorFlow, like a DNN, deep neural network to classify MNIST, for example, just to check if it's getting access to our GPUs. You can do exactly the same thing with XGBoost this time. You can see that it's very fast because it gets access to GPUs this time. And then ne the next step is to test our Streamlit app. So for that, you're gonna use Streamlit Run and your application. Then you take the link. And again, you're gonna change these by localhost. Okay, you have already your application running. In this case, it's iOS Flower Prediction app. You can see that it's running and Docker using the Docker images in real time. You can also check another application, for example, a computer vision one, which is an application for food classifier. For that you do the same, exactly the same thing. It's a food application. As you can see, my food vision application is running. I can train a new classifier or use already pre-trained one. I'm gonna do this. My model is very well loaded and I will look for an image, for example, in order to see if it's gonna be classified. A salmon in my case. And you can see it's predicting grilled salmon at 94% reduction with confidence of 94%. Amazing, you have already set up the environment using TF, GPU, and Streamlit. And you can share your environment and your application with your colleagues. So you have set up a sophisticated data science environment with TensorFlow GPUs and Streamlit. All containerized with Docker using WSL. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.